Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a very special Genshin Impact playthrough session. It is that time once again, the time that rolls around once per year. That's right, it's my birthday, and uh, we're going to be doing something very special that we uh, kind of started last year, and this is going to be an annual tradition for as long as I'm alive, for as long as I, that I'm playing Genshin Impact, and something that uh, I'm actually really looking forward to since it's uh, an entire year later. But uh, we are going to be continuing the trend of going through character birthday messages. So last year, I experienced my birthday within the one year of Genshin Impact's release. And now it's been an entire year since then. We are well on our way to the full second year anniversary for Genshin later this year. And so I am basically following up with uh, interacting with all of the characters that have released from 1.6 to 2.7. So every new character that has come out from Kazuha to Yelon will be featured. Unfortunately, Kukishi shinobu is not going to make the cut but basically she will be the first character that we interact with next year for year three of my genshin impact birthday so i hope you guys look forward to it before we get any further i do want to just express to anyone watching the vod who might not be watching live or who might eventually see this on youtube i did suffer a bit of a workout injury i pulled a muscle while at the gym and so i am in a somewhat state of pain and exhaustion and i'm trying to make the most of this because today is my birthday and I wanted to do a birthday stream and I wanted to commit following this tradition that I started last year. So if my demeanor is off, that I'm moving in a specific way, there's a specific reason why and I hope that that's okay. But uh, we're gonna try to make it through this the best that we can. I'm very excited to see the new array of characters and uh, the new array of messages, like I said, from Kazuha to Yelan. So all of the Inazuma characters as well as some of the Liyue characters that have released within the last year. But before any of that, we gotta celebrate a accordingly ladies and gentlemen so first off i'm gonna get my daily reward but we officially have our year two birthday cake look at this it's like liwe style too the liwe color like the geo colors cake for traveler very special item a gift given to a very special someone on a very special day here's to you busy as you are in this land wishing you a joyous journey in this great big world you love to see it best wishes on your birthday happy birthday traveler please find your gift attached to this message thank you for all of your support we wish you a wonderful day wherever in this world you may roam let's fucking go dude and now oh and it goes it goes in my yo so yeah yesterday i'm so I'm still, I'm never going to let it go that Mihoyo really was like, hey, let's not give Arnold a character that he can share a birthday with. Let's give Arataki Ito and Paimon the same birthday before Arnold's birthday. That'll show him. <laughs> Thankfully, I share the same birthday as my favorite Persona 5 ca uh, character, Goro Akechi, aka Crow, which is also very apropos considering my name is Murder of Birds, which is akin to uh, Murder of Crows. So at least me and Akechi share the same birthday in my favorite video game of all time so i think i win at the end of the day but nonetheless it would be nice that if someday i can share a birthday with another character but we have a couple of character birthdays we're gonna get through these in the next stream but over the last week or so goro yunjin fischl arataki ito and paimon have all had their birthdays in the last week or so which is pretty crazy didn't notice that the cake text changed every day the recommended dishes gets updated every month the moon sends down new blessings but wow it's going to be almost nine thousand hours more before we celebrate this day again. And by that, Paimon means that she'll accompany you all the way, Traveler. Aw, that's wholesome. Bro, I wonder what that Celestia cake, that Conria cake, it's just gonna be a cake with a giant fucking crater in the middle. It's just gonna be like a cake with a with, with like a handprint in it. Like someone just took a piece of the cake and just ate it and ran off. So it's just gonna be like a destroyed cake when we get to Conria. <laughs> Anyways, um, before we start anything, I am actually going to be giving myself a birthday present today. This is a long-awaited gift that I've been anticipating for the last six months, believe it or not. But we finally have it. It has finally happened because we have officially C6 Kaya. This is going to be my C6 constellation for Kaya, who is my third favorite character in Genshin after building him and using him for the first time during Enkonomiya. Uh, arrival to the game, experiencing and pretty much sleeping on Kaya for the for like a year and a half and realizing that he's one of the best units in the game, especially if you build him properly. I have an incredible build with him, like permafrost build. You guys have seen it at this point. And uh, yeah, so this is C6. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> 
So I thought that was appropriate to do. Kai is one of my favorite characters, and uh, I just felt like it'd be appropriate to do that. So we're actually going to give that to him. And actually, yesterday, I got C5 on Chi Chi. We lost the 50 50 on Yelan. And some people would call that an L, but that's actually a major W for me because I really want C6 Chi Chi. So we're going double cryo for today. C5 on Chi Chi. And the man, the myth, the legend, C6. Glacial Whirlwind. Glacial Waltz will generate one additional icicle and will generate 15 energy when cast. So that's more energy and more DPS. And he already has, I think my build already has like crazy energy recharge. I think my energy recharge for him is like 180 or something like that. So that's incredible. I do want to start, and I think I'm going to keep a tradition for this too, but I do want to start every year with a little it's birthday fun. song for myself because, uh, you know, well, I don't, you know, I don't really celebrate birthdays in the traditional sense where you have like a cake and you blow out the candles and everyone wishes you happy birthday. At least not right now. At the very least, I get to have that for myself with Klee because experiencing this last year was so wholesome. And uh, this is how we're going to start it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, dear traveler. Oh, my God. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> She's so You're cute. You're older than me, right? That means you've had way more birthdays than me. <sighs> I'm so jealous. God, she is so fucking sweet. That will never not put a smile on my face, dude. That will forever, like, if I'm ever feeling that, it's like, let's just hear Klee sing happy birthday. Everything's better. But uh, I definitely wanted to follow through with that. That is, without a doubt, my favorite birthday message within year one. And so starting off, we have Kazuha. He's going to be first new character that ushers in a birthday message. I heard it was your birthday. Yeah. Yep. So I wrote a haiku for you. Ah. Unfortunately, I'm not the most talented in this area, and after trying for several evenings, <laughs> I was still only able to come up with the first two lines. I guess I'll just share what I've got so oh. far then. Wait. Sun and moon rejoice. No. <laughs> Birds of dawn sing songs in the Sus. That's sus. Wait. Don't say a word. <laughs> I think the final line is coming to me. Yes. How about far from home with you? Mm. Anyway, happy birthday. Let's go and get you some cake, shall we? Oh my, yo, Kaz, yo, Kaz, a best boy. Actually, best boy, this man's getting me a cake on my birthday. Also, I just want to say he mentioned sun and moon. That's kind of sus, bro. I don't know if we want to be talking about that on my birthday of all days. I don't want, I don't want to die on my, on the day of my birth. Let's just put it that way. But I saw sun and moon, and I was like, mm, maybe we should, uh, maybe we shouldn't start the haiku with that. Oh, Kazuha, Kazuha, man, I love you. Next up, we have Ayaka. Also released following Kazuha for version 2.0. And uh, let's hear what she says. Come with me. We're not going far away. I promise it won't delay you too much. Aw. I managed to find out when your birthday was well in advance. Aww. So I could prepare in good time. Wow. Hopefully this wasn't assuming too much. <laughs> but I guessed you might prefer this to an expensive gift. <gasps> in honor of your birthday... Please allow me to perform a fan dance for you. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Let's just not get your socks wet this time, Ayaka. We know, we all know what happened last time. Wow, that's crazy. She's like, yo, I'm about to finesse right now for your birthday. Let's go. Oh, man. Yo, Inazuma characters hit different, bro. Kazuha's like writing me haikus and getting me cake. Ayaka's putting on a performance for me. I'm like, damn, bro, it's, it's just my birthday. I'll just take, you know, I'll take a $5 gift card and, you know, call it a day. All right, Sai's next. Oh. Oh, Sayu. I can only imagine. She's probably going to be like, yo, you're going to get taller on your birthday. Want to learn some ninja skills? I can... Bro, Inazuma characters built different. I'm about to be on my freaking Konoha right now. Want to learn some ninja skills? I can teach you. Sheesh! Well, only the skills I know, of course. Hmm? Why aren't I asleep? <laughs> uh, because I'm not sleepy. Wow. And also because today is a special day. Holy shit! I had to stay awake today, so I'd have the chance to say it to you in person. Happy birthday. Okay. Okay, dude. That's actually... That means a lot. Sayu is the most couch potato 
lazy like character in the game so when she's like yo i made sure not to oversleep i made sure to stay awake today that's like another level of dedication that actually means a lot like holy shit i thought she was gonna be mad that it was my birthday that i'm getting taller and she's not getting taller but she's like yo you know what i'm about to teach you some i'm about to teach you that rasen shuriken and i'm about to stay up to say happy birthday to you inazuma characters officially built different bro yo and mia is about to give me a fireworks show watch birthdays are never occasions for yourself alone Aww. those who send you cakes like candles applaud and cheer they're all truly thankful that you were born into this world Aww. that's why it must be a lively occasion <laughs> so that everyone can get their chance to thank you well then happy birthday are you ready I'm about to ignite the fireworks. Inazuma is spoiling me. What is happening? I just became a ninja. I witnessed a performance, a, a magnificent performance. I got cake. I got a fireworks show. What the hell? You would think I'm like a freaking archon or something right now. I'm just a humble traveler. These people are treating me like royalty on my birthday. I do like what she said, though. I do love how, like, it's so crazy to me. The simple act of me being born has caused such a ripple effect in other people's lives i would say more so in my adulthood than like growing up just because like i don't know i feel like as you grow up like i'm someone that has a really like sharp memory i remember a lot of stuff in my life i remember every teacher that i've ever had from elementary school middle school high school i remember every person that i considered to be a really good friend of mine throughout my life for, as a from a kid to a teenager to an adult where i am now but i feel like most people people have those moments like escape them as they get older like i it's that's definitely something that i retain through just the fact that i have a really good memory it's crazy to think that like where i am now as like a content creator a youtuber a twitch streamer right for example there's 600 people live in the chat right now it's crazy to think that my life has impacted just you guys here live now that's not including people watching the vod of this that's not including people watching this when it eventually goes up on youtube it's just it's crazy to think how how much one person can influence mag magnitudes more than just one person so i i just really appreciate that like i like my girlfriend's been constantly reminding me that my birthday's coming up right like she was like arnold your birthday's coming up i'm like yeah yeah i know and then she's like arnold your birthday's next week i'm like yeah i know and then this morning she's like it's your birthday and i'm like yeah i know like she even she's like obviously we're we're together we're in a relationship like i think that is incredible too to find to like realize that we both lived our lives completely unaware of each other until the day we met you know so like that in of itself is just um, almost kind of like a, it almost feels like a miracle to me that people just find themselves together in that way it's like you can't you can't even plan that out it just happens i always think about my birthday as like uh, you know i'm older you know i'll have my cake i'll you know I'll spend time with my close friends and that's it but it's just crazy to think that like i i always think that my birthday is just about like me and just like okay it's just another it feels sometimes it feels like just another day but then it, I realized that it's like, it's also kind of like a celebration for other people who know me or other people that are in, in, impacted by me. Yeah, I don't know why, like her words just like, her words just like really rang true to me right there. I was just like, wow, actually my birthday is more than just me adding another year to my age or another year of blowing out my candles or whatever the case might be. It's just, it's a day of remembering me and remember and people taking the day to thank whatever it is that I've done that has impacted their life, you know? And there's only one of me too so i should actually pop off a little bit more i'm the only me so you guys better appreciate me while you can anyways with all of that soapbox nonsense out of the way i'm actually really excited for aloy aloy's the next character so let's see what she has to say oh my gosh she has like one line never put much stock in birthdays that actually makes sense <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. Those motherfuckers are just trying to stay alive. They don't have time for birthdays. Never put much stock in birthdays. Where I come from, it's a time to celebrate your mother, not yourself. Mm. Even so, I wish you a uh, happy day. Wow. That's actual facts, bro. Holy fuck. Your birthday should be more about the person who birthed you than it is about you being born actually that's crazy to th I, I mean i love my mom don't get me wrong like i celebrate you know mother's day you know my mom's birthday whatever but i've 
never really thought of it that way. Like, wow, like I was only birthed because my mom carried me around for nine months. Holy shit. I'm about to hit up my mom right now and be like, yo, thank you for bringing me into this world. Sheesh, dude. Yo, very, very thought provoking uh, messages from some of these characters. I, I like at, at first it was just like, oh my God, I'm, I'm like, these characters are spoiling me, bro. I'm getting ninja lessons. I'm getting cake. I'm getting dances and haikus written in my honor, fireworks show and whatnot. And then I just get hit with some of this like real, some of this like real wisdom. It's kind of crazy. Aloy actually five head. Kujo Sara, you better not be talking about the almighty Shogun on my birthday. Okay. This is my birthday. So I don't want, I don't want to hear you simping. I see it right there. I see the word almighty Shogun, bro. This girl needs a hobby. Excellent timing. I will dispense with the formalities and get straight to the point. Yeah. Do you have a birthday wish? Providing that it does not conflict with the almighty Shogun's grand cause, I will make every effort to see it come Bruh. to fruition. <laughs> to show that I am being completely serious, I will allow you to make not one, what? but five birthday wishes. What the? Yo! absolutely goaded you know what i don't i don't even care about the almighty shogun mention she's given me five birthday wishes inazuma actually goaded i would like for the next five banners to give me five five stars on the lowest pity possible five wishes i'll take a five star thank you very much moving on oh that's right oh my god we get two we get birth date and then we get birthday one from the Shogun and one from A. I completely forgot. I remember I accidentally clicked on this when we read her lore, but I didn't finish it through. I was like, oh no, 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 I'm not supposed to read that. So I completely forgot that we get two on oh, my birth date. That's so like artificial and weird. Is today the day of your creation? <laughs> Return to the city with me. I will read out a speech for you in front of all my attendants. Hmm? Embarrassing? understood oh my is this the day of your creation oh my god okay well the important thing is you tried all right the important thing is you tried uh shogun i appreciate the effort anyways this is a's happy birthday <laughs> let's celebrate together let's and go! make it a moment to remember for the whole year until your next birthday celebration and so on and so forth <gasps> then you shall have an eternity of happy bro why is a the best why is a perfect she is literally bay i love her so much she wants me to have eternal happiness fuck all these gifts everyone else is giving me this is the best gift i could have ever asked for and she wants me to be happy until next year and then for that birthday to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one and so on and so forth. I'm about to need a puppet. Yeah, I really liked both of these. I, I like the birth date. I love how robotic and artificial this one is. It, it's just on point with the puppet. A shines through and it's so good. So I, I'm really glad I got two for one on that one. Next up, we have Kokomi. Happy birthday. Thank so, you. What are your plans for the day? Twitch streaming live on twitch.tv forward slash murder of birds. Thanks for asking. Why don't we celebrate on Watatsumi Island? Ooh. First... I'll take you out at daybreak to see the sunrise. Bro! And then we can go diving during the heat of the day. In the evening, we can go for a stroll around Sangwanomiya Shrine. Wow. If it rains, we'll find somewhere cozy to hide out with a few strategy books and try to bake a cake <laughs> together. In any case, no need to plan anything. The grand strategist has everything thought out for you. All right, I'm gonna say this right now. Low-key kinda, kinda greedy to hog me for the entire day when there's a bajillion other characters who wanna wish me happy birthday. A plus for planning out the entire day to a T. I don't know what miHoYo did, but I think I think the Inazuma characters are like showing up everybody right now. Every single character has made me feel incredibly special, incredibly like thought of and appreciated. I get to go diving. She's going to get me cake too. We're going to walk on the beach and do all this cool shit together, reading. Oh my god. She planned out everything. My heart is going to burst if Kali is a playable character. If Kali's a playable character and she I don't know what I, I don't know how I'm gonna react to her birthday message. That's gonna be so heartwarming if she's playable and because if she's playable, then that means she, I'm gonna have a birthday message for her. She's gonna have a birthday message for me, I should say. I'm I'm hoping. I'm I'm praying right now. Prage chat. All right, Tom is next. Hey, quick, come with me. I remembered it's your birthday, obviously, so I thought I'd throw <laughs> you a proper party. Bro, there's food. 
there's drinks, and I invited a whole bunch of your friends, too. <laughs> hey, this is your birthday we're talking about. I wasn't about to let you spend it all alone. These characters are, like, beyond human. Unrealistic that it's, like, idealistic. Bro, he actually set up the true surprise birthday party. God, that is so wholesome. You know why I think he did that? He was like, hey, I set up this whole party as an excuse to clean up when everyone goes home. I think this was his secret plan to do some housekeeping chores after we're all done. So he set up the whole party, and when everyone goes home, he's like, all right, time for me to flex on everybody with my magnificent cleaning skills. So you know what? That uh, Hey, killed two birds with one stone. I appreciate him. All right, next up, we got Goro. Goro loves cake. So I'm expecting this man to talk about cake. Today's a momentous occasion. Your birthday. Allow me to arrange all the celebrations for you. We can make a bonfire on the beach and catch some fresh fish and crabs. Oh, I'll personally prepare a morale-boosting meal that would make even the highest-ranking generals jealous. Yeah, this is a really nice one, too. Damn, I, I, I'd almost expect him and Kokomi to both, like, combine their efforts. Because, like, everyone wants to spend the day with me. Like, bro, this is my one birthday, but five different people have planned out the entire day. So I'm like, how am I... Like, I, I can't clone myself. What's going on here? Also, I appreciate the fresh crab and fish, but I'm allergic to shellfish, so no thanks on the crab. I'm gonna pass on that but i appreciate the sentiment brace yourselves for this next character because this next character i can only imagine their energy the funny thing is ito's birthday was yesterday so let's see how he today is an important day i had to send the gang away otherwise they'd be accusing me of favoritism oh Here, boy take a look at this i got you the greatest <laughs> birthday gift combo <laughs> ever one top grade Oni Kabuto. I'll have you know it took me three whole days and nights to catch this bad boy. <laughs> One out of print collectible trading card that took me 300 Whoa! rounds to get my hands on. And finally, a birthday song performance performed personally by yours truly. <laughs> <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear traveler. Happy birthday to you. Oh my god. That's the coolest fucking thing I have ever heard in this game. I was not expecting that. Hold on. I need to hear that again. Thing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, oh dear traveler. Happy birthday to you. I love this character so fucking much. Holy fuck. If Klee has the cutest birthday song, Ito has the most badass birthday song. That was, I, I did not think that was gonna happen. I cannot fucking believe that. He is so fucking cool. I love Ito so much. Holy shit. Dude, Max must love perform. Like Max must have like an absolute, he must be like balls to the wall, like excited as hell to perform whenever he has anything going on with Ito. I'm like stupefied from that. Like I'm in such like a freaking, I can't believe that happened. Holy shit, dude. Now I just wish his birthday was on my birthday. That would have been like the freaking icing on the cake, man. But you know what? His birthday's the day before mine. I'll allow it, Mihoyo. I'll allow it. All right, Ito, that was amazing. I don't want to take away the moment from anyone else. Yo, I'm about to get a whole opera show from Yunjin. Oh, so today's your birthday? Well, I wouldn't know how to throw you a feast if I tried. So how about I sing you a song for you alone? An audience of one. Sheesh! So, what song would you like to hear me sing? The choice is yours. Yo, Inazuma is spoiling your boy rotten right now. Rather, year two characters, I should say. Not Inazuma. I'm getting confused. Inazuma came out year two, but like the characters between last year and this year, I feel like Mihoyo is putting a little bit more effort in how they decide to express their appreciation and gratitude for you, if that makes any sense. In the same way that they have improved like events over the years, like the events that came out during the first year of the game were good, but like when 
when you compare how much they've improved between last year and this year right the second lantern right the second dragon spine event and like all the other stuff that they've improved on over the years it's very clear that they've learned a lot from what they did within the first year of the game's release that's kind of like what i'm what i mean i don't necessarily mean like oh the second year let's actually put it it's just like it's just like they've learned a lot have their characters be more like more developed and just a bit more expressive i would say so i i don't know i just really appreciate like these are awesome ways to spend with characters on your birthday like going out to the beach going out for you know having a party with your friends and some of these other like the freaking whole ass firework shows ninja tool freaking training sessions i don't know a lot of these are just really incredible and like really are like spectacular ways to to spend for your birthday i i just really appreciate how they've stepped up with a lot of their characters this year all right i don't know how shenha i don't even know if shenha knows what birthdays are to be honest she's like she's like raised in the freaking forests with freaking adepti anyways let's see i've been told that birthdays are important occasions for most people they give presents to celebrate the anniversary of the other person's birth mm. material possessions aren't really my thing but you call me friend the view of the Am starry really night sky friend? in the mountains is the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life mm. i've frozen this lake and turned it into a mirror <laughs> So you can appreciate the reflection of the fleeting clouds and distant stars right up close. This is my way of celebrating your birthday. Oh my god. Hope you like it. Bro, why did they go so hard? Mihoyo went so hard on the birthdays this time around. She's like, let me freeze this whole fucking lake just so you can see the night sky a little bit better. I'm like, you could just, we could just take a picture with my camera. It's fine. She's like, no, 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 that won't do. Let me reenact the fucking Archon Quest interlude with my giant ass fucking ice wind attack. What the hell, dude? Okay, now I'm starting to feel a little awkward. You know when? I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but there's definitely a feeling that happens when you get complimented too much, right? It, it, it happens to me sometimes because you know i'm a content creator people know of me you know whenever i get you know and it's just like it's like an anxious thing more than anything it's not like someone's trying to be overbearing with their compliments and and kudos and stuff like that but like when someone is almost too nice to you because like they revere you or they respect you a lot or they admire you or whatever it turns into like it has almost the opposite effect of what they would think where then it becomes like okay i i, I know like i don't think i'm all that you think i am Am. and so it, it tends to get a little awkward that's how i'm starting to feel now because like <laughs> nobody should be doing this for me i'm not that special bro like she's, she's like i freeze a lake over for you and i'm like ma'am i'm i'd go for a slice of cake and and some some a nice cold glass of milk you don't gotta do all that you know but yeah oh my god this is i was just talking about it i'm like bro they're going so fucking hard with these birthdays man mihoyo's literally out out here oh, okay i expect okay i'm gonna get trolled now she's gonna she's definitely trolling me on my birthday whoa birth date what is this what's this what is this artificial nonsense birth date ah so today is your birthday Ahem. on your ceremonious reckoning of years <laughs> i task my kin with seeing to it that that which you seek you shall surely find uh-huh and that that for which your heart longs you shall surely receive mm. Remain pure of heart and true of spirit, and their protection shall be bestowed on you. Ah, <sighs> there you go. Oh. May all go well in your year ahead, and may all your wishes be fulfilled. Are we done? Sheesh! I'm sorry for taking up your time, lady. Honestly, you know what? That's probably the most realistic birthday that I've gotten today so far. Like, let's be real. She's like, uh-huh. Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy birthday. You know, I I'll say my prayers. Thoughts and prayers with you. Okay, are we done? I got somewhere to be. This is actually the most realistic birthday that I was... It's, uh, as fucked up as it might seem, this is very, like, spot on of what I'd expect. <laughs> Kamisato Ayato. And then Yelon is the last one and we barely know anything about yelan and she's already wishing me happy birthday so that's a little awkward happy birthday now how would you like to be yashiro commissioner for a day oh hmm? all the work has been handled already so you can focus on simply enjoying the feeling of having an enormous Bro. amount of executive power at your fingertips what the fuck don't worry the retainers won't dare question it i'll be with you the entire time 
<laughs> I'm basically president of a tri commission. I'm about to run y'all's government into the earth. I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> Literally within 24 hours. First motion to pass. Free dongo milk for every Inazuman per day. All right. Everyone deserves to get the milkman sent to their house. Free dongo milk for everyone. Motion passed. I want a goddamn fox mask. All right. And I want to wear it as the traveler. As a customizable, equipable item. Effective immediately. Motion passed. Let's go. And last but not least, I don't even know you. I haven't even spoken to you in game. But you know what? what let's uh i'm gonna skip all this because this is all kind of like this is all oh she's got like locked away stuff oh my god oh this is her friendship stuff okay never mind all right so we're just gonna skip all this and go straight to the birthday we'll read all this stuff when we get her to friendship six if i was to tell you that maybe you shouldn't celebrate too hard today because you'll let your guard down and someone out there might just be waiting for that moment to make their move on you uh oh it probably wouldn't go down very well <laughs> so relax and take it easy today. Thank God that's oh, not the case. You should stop by the Yenshang Tea House. I whipped up some treats especially for you. Not sweet ones, of course. Ooh. Just the tiniest little hint of chili. Okay. All right. She knows me very well, chat. I'm a big fan of spicy of spicy uh, treats or spicy food, but, you know, chili, that sounds base. Yeah, don't know anything about her, but you know what? I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, year two birthdays <laughs> fucking slapped, bro. Year two birthdays, That those birthdays are going to have... Those birth. I can already tell you, those birthdays already have a longer lasting impact on the year one birthday messages that I got. Not to say that the year one birthdays are like, you know, anything less. You know, I mean, first off, the year one birthday, there were a lot of characters. There were the base characters on top of the characters that released within the first year. So there was just a lot to take in overall. I'm pretty sure there were some in there that were just as meaningful, just as impactful as this one. But like, again, I feel like the birthday moments were a lot more spontaneous and spectacular and like larger than life. Like, let's free an entire lake and just like watch the stars in the reflection or here's an entire firework display on us you know what i mean thank you guys all for the birthday wishes thank you guys for hanging out with me today on my birthday you know it means a lot like especially going through the birthday messages i'm glad that i went through it with you guys i'm really happy that i came up with this like little annual thing that we get to do every year and i hope next year's is just as good and you know just as exciting with sumeru characters and then by that point we're looking forward to fontaine and and all that stuff but yeah, I, I really appreciate it. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, kind of going through the whole process with me as well. But, you know, these birthday messages overall were just really like spectacular. And like, I I, I, I thought Cleese was wholesome. Like she sang happy birthday. And then they were like, yo, let's have Arataki Ito do that too. But be a complete freaking Giga Chad badass. That one was probably the one that blew me away the most just because I was not expecting it at all. I was not expecting like when the beatbox came in i was just like bro i was freaking out I, I couldn't believe it you know and again i think it's just a product of mihoyo kind of like tapping into their characters personalities a little bit more and just really going all out with you know it's like hey everyone's not gonna get every character so when you get a character on your birthday they're gonna make you feel incredibly special they're gonna make you feel you know appreciated and it, it's it's so awesome and like it just kept happening over and over and over again for me because i have every character in the game but I feel like for any character, especially if they released within the last year, like those birthday messages go a long way. You know, it's a moment between you and the character and it, it has its impact and it's not, you know, no pun intended, you know, Genshin impact, but the impact is definitely there with, uh, with how they choose to celebrate the birthday of the traveler, which is awesome. And, uh, as, as awesome as that is, it's over, you know, another year has passed. I'm another year older. I'm another year wiser. I'm another year crankier. <laughs> I'm another year, uh, more agonized. I'm always in pain. There's always something going on another year. Nonetheless, well spent with chat and uh, with Genshin Impact, a game that I have fallen in love with uh, within the last two years. And uh, I look forward to next year. I look forward to my Sumeru cake. I look forward to the new array of characters. I can't even imagine what next year's characters are going to be like. Like, I wonder what Sino is going to say on my birthday. If Kali's playable, what she's going to say on my birthday. And like any other, even future characters, right? What the fuck is Dane's Leaf going to say to me on my birthday? What is Skirk going to say if she's playable? What 
is Ryan daughter gonna say if she's playable? You know what I mean? Just think of Alice, you know, all of these potential <sighs> Barka, all these potential future characters, you know, Scott Amush, any of the other Archons. It's so exciting to just think about, right? Uh, you know, Lesser Lord Kusanali, if they're playable, or, you know, the Dendro Archon, which will be within the next year. Overall, very, very excited. Also, we have like Kuki Shinobu and Shikano and Heizo. Unfortunately, they're not going to be covered here, even though they come out later. You know, Kuki comes out later this patch. Shikanoing comes out next patch. But even those characters, we know of them now, but we won't be able to know what they say until next year. At least I won't. So that's all just really fun and exciting. But with all of that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this follow-up year two birthday stream. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the first year. I hope you guys enjoyed the second year. I hope you guys enjoyed the many years that are hopefully to come. As long as, like I said, as long as I'm alive, as long as I'm playing Genshin, I will try to continue and follow this, this trend. But, uh, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching on YouTube. As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys all in the next one.